The Event Horizon Telescope is a global array of radio telescopes spread across the Earth. All of these telescopes are linked together, and that allows us to achieve absolutely unprecedented levels of both resolution and sensitivity. Despite their enormous masses, black holes, even the ones at the centers of galaxies that are a billion times as massive as the Sun, are very tiny objects. We don't see the black hole directly, we see the stuff that is surrounding it. There's material in their vicinity, rushing headlong to fall across the horizon. And that material shines. And silhouetted against that shining material, we see the telltale sign of a horizon, a black shadow. In general relativity, the shape of the shadow is almost always nearly circular. Encoded in that shadow is the shape of space-time around black holes. In general relativity, black holes are very simple objects characterized by only a handful of numbers, and therefore their shadows are also simple shapes. But if general relativity was not the right theory of gravity, if Einstein was wrong, the shadows could be complicated shapes. And that is the signal we are going after. Our prime target is the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way. We call it Sagittarius A star, or just short, Sag A star. Sagittarius A star is the four million solar mass behemoth at the center of our galaxy. And that makes it the closest supermassive black hole to Earth. It also makes it the optimal target for the Event Horizon Telescope. It has a diameter of about 50 micro arc seconds. So imagine you were to cut the moon into 35 million slices then the thickness of one of these slices would be about the diameter of the shadow. This is super, super tiny, and yet we can resolve it. In this research, we considered what would happen if we squished the space-time. Say, instead of a spherical peach, maybe it looks more like a pear or a pizza. Changing the shape of the space-time changes the shape of the shadow cast by the horizon. And using seven years of observations taken by the Event Horizon Telescope already, we can say that general relativity does a pretty good job. That it really can't look like a banana or a pizza, it could maybe look like a pear. However, starting in 2017, many more stations will be part of the Event Horizon Telescope, and the sensitivity and the resolution will increase dramatically. And instead of telling apart peaches and pears, we're going to be able to see the hairs on the peach. So we have demonstrated, both with existing data and with forthcoming data, that we are able to place tight constraints on a potential deviation from general relativity. We are also able to measure the spin of Sag star very precisely, as well as its orientation in the sky. What this work implies is that the era of high-precision, strong gravity research has begun. That is, with radio telescopes, we are going to not only be able to watch the exciting dramas of gas and fields accreting onto black holes, but study the underlying stage set by the space-time itself.